What's going on guys, TTL here. Today I'm going to be going over my top three NBA picks for today. Today is Thursday, March 14th, 2024. I apologize for no video yesterday. Um, I'm feeling super sick. I'm honestly still feeling sick. But yesterday my voice was just super hoarse from all the coughing. So I couldn't really talk that much. Um, it's a lot better now. Um, so hopefully uh, we can get through a whole video here. But um, I do appreciate all the love and support. I had a lot of people in Discord that were telling me to feel better, things like that. So I do appreciate you guys. And um, we're just kind of going to do a quick video today. Um, it might be 10 or 11 minutes or it might be like 6 minutes. It really. just depends. Um, I do appreciate anybody that hits that thumbs up button, leaves a comment down below, and uh, hits that subscribe button though. And if you guys are interested, I have been still posting every single day in VIP. We've been crushing it. We almost swept the Thunder Pick bets yesterday. But if you guys are interested, patreon.com slash test the limit. You get $20, it's $20 a month. And you get access to every slip that I personally play. And then we also have, um, if you click the link tree in the pinned comment, you can join the Discord server. And if you sign up to any of these apps using my link or code TTL, the only one that's different is better. You have to use code TTL DFS on it. You do get a 100% match, as well as you get a free month of VIP for each one you sign up to. So you can get up to six months of free VIP as well. Highly recommend it, and let's get into the actual video for today. Um, we're going to be using DGF and Outlier for our research. So DGF, use code LIMIT for 25% off your uh, first month. Outlier, click the link for a free week. And one of our top plays is actually going to be the top play on DGF currently. And it's going to be Fred Van Vliet under four and a half rebounds. Now, the reason I'm a little bit iffy on this one, I will say I am a little bit iffy. Um, there's no two unit plays from me currently. I only have one unit plays posted in VIP. And typically, I at least have one or two two unit plays in the, uh, in the um, Patreon. But today's a little bit iffy. There's only five or six games today. There's not a whole bunch like there have been lately like we've been having 11 and 12 game slates every day um but it's because he's good against the wizards that's the only reason i'm iffy when we just go based off stats though i am loving this we can see under four and a half we can see it goes all the way up from minus 130 to minus 154 on FanDuel. so i do like the odds here it is positive ev and when we search up fred van vliet right here under four and a half rebounds over his last 10 he has stayed under in six of 10 in 2023 he has stayed under this number in 66 percent of games 38 of 58 and at home he has stayed under in 70 percent of games this season 21 of 30. Um, we can also see he's failed to exceed this in six of his last seven games at home. I think he gets three or four today. Again, the only reason I'm a little bit iffy is because the Wizards rebounds defense last, dead last in the league, 30th, allowing 50 rebounds per game. Versus point guards, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit better, but they're still allowing six, seven rebounds per game, 28th in the league. So I am a little bit iffy on it just because of uh, the, the matchup, who he's going against. But I do like it. Let's take the under four and a half rebounds there. Um, obviously, guys, uh, don't forget as well the James Harden uh, three and a half points for Pi Day, three point fourteen points for Pi Day. Take the over on this easy little uh, layup there. Um, pair this with anything you want. If you guys aren't on Prize Picks, again, you can use code TTL for a one hundred percent match, as well as get a free month of VIP. So. You can get that free play today, and then tomorrow will be Flex Friday. We get a free $20 entries as well. Um, next up, though, I do really love um, Denny Abdia under one and a half blocks and steals. So this is in, on the opposing team versus the Rockets. We can take a look. Abdia under one and a half blocks and steals here. And we can see right here it goes from anywhere from minus 130 to minus 137 odds on DG Fantasy. When we search it up, under one and a half blocks and steals, 
Over his last 10 games, he's went under this in 7 of 10. In 2023, he's went under this in 61% of games, 38 of 62. And on the road, he has went under this in 74% of games this season, 25 of 34. He's failed to exceed this in 7 of his last 8 games on the road as well. And when we take a look at the Rockets' offense, 16th in the league for steals allowed, 25th in the league for blocks allowed but versus his uh position fourth in the league for steals 22nd in the league for blocks but i do think i do really like this prop i think he goes under this i think he does get one obviously because it's both steals and blocks but it's even possible he gets zero let's lock it in with confidence that is my second favorite pick of the day and then third and finally, we're going to go with Chet Holmgren under nine and a half rebounds. Let's take a look at this under nine and a half rebounds. Let's see if it's still on here. It is Chet Holmgren under nine and a half rebounds right here. Minus 137 according to DGF. And it's already bumped to eight and a half on FanDuel for the default line. At nine and a half, you can get it from anywhere from minus 125 all the way to minus 140 on uh, GM. And minus 150 on Fliff. So I do really like the odds on these other websites. I like the odds that we're getting on prize picks. And we take a look at Chet Holmgren. I apologize for like uh, sniffing and stuff like that. And I apologize if my voice is still a little bit hoarse. Again, guys, I am feeling a little bit sick. So just bear with me. I did want to get some content out there for you guys. But um, last 10 games, 6 out of 10, he stayed under this, 60%. In 2023, he has stayed under this in 68% of games, 44 of 65. And at home, he stayed under in 67%, 22 of 33 games. Um, Dallas, Dallas Mavericks rebounds and defense, 26 in the league. They allow a lot of rebounds versus power forwards. It's a little bit better, 24th in the league, allowing 11 rebounds per game. But I do like this tonight. Um, we can take a look at just the games where everybody has played as well. Like Gordon Hayward got switched in the middle of the season. Um, 55%, 6 of 11 with him on the end. Uh, we can also say, like, let's say Jalen Williams, Aaron Wiggins, um, Isaiah Joe, and uh, Giddy in. Uh, Shy Gil just had a winner as well. So there's 41 games where basically everybody has played that are going to play tonight. There's absolutely no injuries on the Thunder reported right now. And with everybody playing, he has went under in 68% of games this season. At home, 75%, 15 of 20. So I do love this. Again, there's nobody on the injury report tonight. We can see right here. You can also check on ESPN. No one on the injury report. So I do love Chet to stay under here. Let's lock it in with confidence. So again, Fred Van Vliet under four and a half rebounds. Adia under one and a half blocks and steals. And then Chet Holmgren under nine and a half rebounds. Let's lock them in, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And I will see you in the next video.